Hi, I'm Torbjörn. I work with Panorama Antennas. Uh, I would like to show you an example where I use a Panorama Antenna with uh, some uh, broadband-based internet. Uh, my neighbors in here, they called me last Sunday. Uh, their wide internet was totally dead. Um, it's been unstable for the whole week and now it was totally dead. They are working from home. It's Corona time, it's lockdown, and the kids are on homeschooling online. So they were really desperate and was wondering if I could help in some way. I have this uh, Teltonica router, RUT240, uh, 4G, and I had a spare data SIM card from my iPad, so I should be able to put something together. The Teltonica router have uh, three antenna ports, two for LTE 4G and one for Wi-Fi. So it has MIMO, multiple input, multiple output for the 4G, and for the Wi-Fi, it's a SISO, single input, single output. The router comes with these three OEM paddle antennas. The challenge with the antennas like this is that you are not sure how much isolation there is between the two antennas, and it depends on how much you angle them against each other. With isolation, I mean how much the two antennas disturb each other, or by angling the two antennas like this, I hope to get as much isolation as possible. In addition, the base station antennas are cross-polarized, so placing them like this will minimize the attenuation to the base station. I'm now in my neighbor's house and we have placed the router here on the first floor. We now get download on 5.5 megabit per second and upload on 16.5. Uh, with what is, uh, I guess, what we expected. I just had a sample of the new Panorama DMM 6-60. It's called 6-60 because it covers from 600 to 6000 megahertz. And so it's covering all 5G frequencies all over the world with exceptions of 450 megahertz, but that will require a specific antenna anyway. DMM stands for Disk Mount MIMO. So it's a MIMO antenna because it has two antennas inside. But upside the two OEM paddle antennas, we know what the isolation is between the antennas inside the DMM. Antennas have several installation options. There's two small feet on it. Um, it comes with an adhesive pad. There's a sucking cup and two small holes and some screws. Um, let's look at the performance with the new antenna. We now get download on 32 megabits per second, where it was 5.5 with the OEM paddles on it, six times more nearly. And the upload is 43 megabits per second, where it was 16 and a half with the OEM antennas. Quite impressed it was this good. This really proves how important it is to have the right antenna to the installation. I like to compare antennas uh, in a radio infrastructure with tires on a car. Uh, if you have a 500 horsepower car, but equip it with tires that do not meet the specifications or dimensions that the car is designed for. You'll never get the performance you, uh, you're hoping to get and the grip. Uh, so with, as um, antennas are crucial for a radio infrastructure, the tires are crucial for a car's performance. Thank you all for watching. Um, I'd just like to mention that um, the DM 6-60 have a smaller brother uh, called DM7-38, which covers 700 to 3800 megahertz, which will cover the needs in most of Europe. Thank you all for watching. Have a great day.